Yo, what's going on friends and family? My name is Skylint, and today we're going to be talking about min-maxing in MMOs. This is a huge thing that I see all the time on different subreddits uh, and different discords. A lot of you guys actually mention it in my comments, obviously for very specific games uh, when I talk about them, or just like I do list videos, and you're just like, you know, a grumpy old man, oh, my MMOs, back in the day, we didn't have all these min-maxers speedrunning and, and ruining the game. Uh, well, I, I'm kind of here to... to, to you know, I love being contrarian. I love to show the another perspective that you guys maybe haven't seen. I, or maybe, I don't know if you guys are just a vocal minority, but a lot of people, you know, if you're coming into this and you're like, what are you talking about, Sky? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, min-maxing is a thing where you play games and you just, you try to be the best at that game. You look at the, you know, an RPG, the paper doll, the different items you can have, the, the different builds, the different abilities you can equip, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, the different paths you can take to making gold or leveling up or, you know, different uh, boss strategies. You think about what is the best and you do that to the best of your ability that you can mechanically execute. But there are certain metas, certain standards, and people feel that following those things is against the spirit of the MMO, which the magic of MMOs, I will agree with you, is the magic of discovery. So a lot of people feel that min-maxers are ruining the game for everyone else. And there's a couple of reasons why that is. One example that I felt very, very strongly, which is actually in a game that a lot of people would say is the most friendly, not entirely true, is Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 has dungeons, like most MMO, and in most games just like it, in Guild Wars 2, a lot of people love to speedrun the dungeons. So I would get in, it would be my first time in the dungeon, even though I was one of the first people to play Guild Wars 2, and people would kick us, me and my roommate at the time, because she was playing a necromancer. And on certain dungeons, or a lot of them, people really hated necromancers because they were useless on certain parts. So because it wasn't very quick or made the, you know, a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging, even though it could spice up the gameplay for them in the end, she, she could play a very supportive necromancer. Uh, it doesn't matter. They would just kick us. It would be very toxic. So we weren't really playing the meta. I was also playing a very supportive warrior, just as an example, if you guys know what I'm talking about, banner warrior. Um, so everyone in that game would run just full damage. Just you, you would face tank everything or you would you would do some very specific strats and if you didn't know the specific strats which effectively like broke the game in a lot of instances um and made it honestly very unfun you would just completely avoid many mechanics and traps in the dungeons if you didn't do that then basically you'd get kicked and people were very angry and so that's just one very prime example and i think probably the, the most like people who are very vocal about min maxers that's the experience you guys are talking about and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just jump out right out here. So that example and any other that I could pretty much give you, like some people would say, well, guides and, and YouTube videos kind of ruin the magic on YouTube. Sure, blah, blah, yeah, but it all comes together right here. And I'm saying it's actually not the player's fault. Now, I really came to this realization and wanted to do this rant for a while. I didn't know if I wanted to make it an essay, but basically I was watching WoW Classic and I was watching competitive teams of people speed running a freaking MMO. And that was amazing. It was so fun. But a lot of people were commenting how that that was a bad thing. That that's ruining the game. That's you know, that's not the classic wow experience. And no, it it isn't. This is a whole new experience. And this is an experience that you again, th these these people who are kind of, you know, more negative against min maxers who are very vocal. You guys, you never tried this. You never done this. You guys have no idea what this next level gameplay really is. And there's a tremendous amount of depth with that. And MMOs really should celebrate that. And to an extent, Black Desert actually does, which is why it's so popular. Um, though that game has a lot, a lot of issues with itself. That's that's pretty true. Uh, but anyways, and actually World of Warcraft is coming into its own and realizing people love uh, grinding out new races and, and you know, re-leveling and doing stuff like that, playing, you know, having alts, alt accounts. Um, you know, more MMO are realizing, oh, we can make our game replayable, not just have a bunch of filler content. Let's have just really, really good content that can be played in multiple different ways and have people just, you know, constantly funneling in new characters and that keeps the whole world enriched and alive. That's a really good thing. So the idea of an MMO should be one and done, which I actually love. That's how I play most of my games. Um, is kind of a, a, a toxic mentality, especially for a games as a service. 
or you have people that need to level up and you go through different zones and you need to populate all those zones. Anyways, so a lot of people feel that you really should not look up any guides, everything should be a mystery, everyone should go in blind, um, play the game and level up and it should be hard, difficult and you need to cooperate and communicate. But all at the same time, you make fun of min-maxers, you also self-admit that MMOs do a horrible job at forcing players to actually cooperate, of actually surprising players and making themselves really explorative. There's really, in the end, MMOs are incredibly stagnant. They're static and yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, gamers, as gamers, I guess, we're kind of evolved past that. As gamers, we, as players, we've grown more aware of how to gamify the MMO and developers are too fucking lazy, uninspired and uh, greedy. They're, they're not actually going to give us the gamification that we desire. Really, really what we should be hating on is not the min-maxers, but the fact that the content is not, it's not really fun. It's not really fun unless you gamify it to that extent. It's not really fun uh, unless, you know, you, you were to add some new mechanics or really twist up and change up the formula like procedural generation or random ability gains or a whole new way to do questing, which kind of like, you know, the games that have switched up the formula like Realm of the Mad God come out of nowhere. You know, a cheap, cute little MMO that uh, does like this weird open questing, just bullet hell thing. Wow, that's so fun. Guild Wars 2 kind of mixed it up a little bit too. But, um, you know, you just, you just have these just, it's just, the, the worlds are so boring. And yeah, you know, the first time you ever go into an MMO, that's cool. But once you go into one MMO, the magic is really dimmed. You know, just like everyone says, the best MMO is your first MMO. And maybe that's because almost all of them, as different as they can look and as different as they seemingly can play, they're all really the same and they never really change. Uh, so, you know, some are on very different ends of the spectrum, such as like Planet Side and then Realm of the Mad God and on the other side you have like EverQuest, right? So I get it, you know, some can be different and they can play very different. <sighs> but in the end, most of them, it's just the same old, same old. You jump in, you look up a guide, you figure out how to play or else everyone yells at you. And I will say this, guys, there's there's a difference between experiencing a game such as like, you know, reading the lore or just just looking at the spectacle of the graphics, the, the sunset over the horizon of the plains, you know, somewhere in Thunder Bluff, I guess. Uh, me, I'm an undercity boy, uh, but, uh, you know, you, you can kind of experience a game, an MMORPG. You can experience it, but then you can play it like you can game it, which means maybe speed running which means maybe like, you know, going hard and, and trying to grind out certain dungeons. And to play MMOs, you need other players. And if other players are on your same wavelength, it upsets everyone. So you're mad at min-maxers, min-maxers are mad at you, and you're mad that they're mad at you, but we shouldn't be mad at each other. We need to be mad at the developers for not giving us the tools to match make, you know, like why, is, why isn't there like a casual server versus a hardcore server? Uh, you know, maybe there should just be fresh start speed running servers every single month. That would be amazing. You know, can, can you imagine World of Warcraft resets every month, like one server. It's like, okay, you can make a new character on the server and you know, world firsts and everything get awarded. You get free game time, you get free merch, you get t-shirts sent to you. We'll have freaking tournaments, things like that. Why not? You know, that, that people put that in like uh, light novels and manga and anime. You know, that, that, that concept is such a, such a fucking catchy concept. And we're starting to see some leanings to that like World of Warcraft Mythic or uh, Fresh Start servers, a, a couple of games are starting to do those a little bit more frequently and we're starting to see it, but in the end, God damn, MMO developers are just so fucking lazy um, because we love these games so much, but we love them for all sorts of different reasons and they need to develop ga the game for all those different reasons. They want a world that we can live in, then they need to actually breathe in life to that. So that means competitive life. That means more casual stuff. That, that means matchmaking us or separating us players and giving us the tools to communicate better with each other as well. Um, so that it's not just, oh, insta ban, insta kick, things like that. Uh, basically everyone, everyone just has the same kind of tools. It's like the same boring guild stuff, the same, same boring looking for group, the same blah, blah, blah. Um, so many games just kind of the gameplay loop is just so similar. 
that basically it just kind of divides the player base is like, are you gaming the game or are you experiencing the game? And there definitely needs to be some distinction uh, with the player base between that or make a game that better it is more fluid between that. In the end, um, <laughs> it's not it's not a, it's not a critic's job to actually give solutions. But for me personally, I think an MMO that would do really well is procedural generation. Um, you know, actually create like puzzles. You, uh, you, we almost see, we kind of see this in games like Fortnite or Destiny, even where they have like these these crazy like community driven puzzles. Uh, you know, you, you got to do a, events like that. You know, seasonal events, uh, change up the map consistently, and give us like uh, you very very unique uh, builds or characters, or you know, constantly add new classes. Like seriously, the amount of content that's added to MMOs, you would think on paper is amazing, but it's always cloned. It's always like this buffer content that's like not real content. Uh, it's just there to kind of waste time until they finally get up the, the I don't know, the dick pills so they, they can jizz all over our face with one good raid. And then, you know, the rest of the year is just bullshit again. Um, so basically, it's like, no, just give it. You got you, you to gotta do more developers. And I, I'm going to blame the developers. Never blame the players. You don't. Don't fucking blame the players, guys. The people who are min-maxing are playing a game that you probably can't even comprehend. And min-maxers, the casual players and everything, they are desperate for that MMO magic that is, yes, it is being ruined. It is, in fact, ruined for many, many, many players. But it's, it's no one's fault. It's no one's fault except for the developers. So put the blame on them. Criticize the game as much as you fucking love it. As much as you love it, you got to criticize it. You got to call it out. You got to make those videos. You got to put those in reviews. Stop, stop giving them a pass. And honestly, stop giving them your money, really. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and, and I do want to, okay, one, one last thing. I want to say that min maxers and what they're doing and how they're pushing the gameplay, it really, it, it shouldn't just be ignored or muted. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't be something like that you're just okay with. I think it should be celebrated. The min-maxing, the speedrunning community, there is so much depth in learning the loot tables and learning the progression of uh, the player. Like RPGs, progression, speedrunning, RPG speedruns are actually fucking awesome. So in an MMO space where you can have teams of people helping each other out and, and bleeding through an ecosystem, like, you know, you know world-first racing, this could be so fun. And we got to see that with Classic WoW. It was such a spectacle to watch. I, I spent hours, dozens of hours, not playing the game, but watching these teams of players play them, and it blew my fucking mind. So already, I didn't care too much about min-maxers, but now I actually think that they should be celebrated. It's a, it's a gameplay that a lot of us can't even conceive of, because MMOs are so vast and so random, but if the developers took their own games seriously, then I think all of us would start to see it in that light as well. That's what I gotta say, guys. That's a rant. If I didn't make anything clear enough, ask a question in the comments below. Let me know. And if you guys have any awesome VODs or anything of uh, some MMO speedruns or something like that, um, you know, hey, leave that in the comments below too. Much love. I'll see you in the next one.